What's up, people? In this video, we are going to do this, what I eat in a day as a model, sane vlot. Uh, hopefully the sound will be okay. I had to restart my computer because the sound was not working. I, I don't really know why, but I'm hoping it's fixed now. is 8 a.m. and I just woke up I just took a shower and today I decided I'm going to film what I eat in a day and work is coming up soon I want to feel strong I want to feel healthy so today I'm just gonna share like what I eat on like an average day and yeah I hope you guys can get some inspiration of this so I am quite hungry because I'm a morning person and also a breakfast person so yeah I'm gonna get dressed and let's go to the kitchen First thing I do in the morning is make a cup of tea. Lately I've been switching my coffees for tea and I like to use fresh mint and fresh ginger to really detox my body in the morning. And for my breakfast today I'm going to have a coconut yogurt, banana, kiwi and some homemade granola. I try to avoid dairy so I'm using a coconut cashew yogurt which is a great substitute for a normal yogurt. Do check the label on the back because some of them contain actually a lot of sugars. Then I'm using half a banana, the rest I will use later today. And this looks maybe really weird, but I eat my kiwi with the skin on it. Uh, most of the nutrition are actually in here and it doesn't taste hairy at all. I would say just give it a try. For my topping, I'm using my homemade turmeric puffed grains granola. So here I have my breakfast ready. So this has been a breakfast I've been eating lately and I feel it's very nice to like switch up the different kind of granolas. And it is also super easy to make. I'm actually going to make a new stock of granola uh, after I my breakfast. So that will last for the rest of the two weeks. Um, okay. I mean, like, what, what, what can be said about this, really? She's like, she's a model, she's super skinny, eats like a bird, you know? But she's a model. So at, le at least she's not just doing it because she's like, mentally ill <laughs> i'm sorry but like she's doing it for work you know so like there's a reason she's eating like this i guess you could say so it's it's slightly better um probably genetically always been skinny i think she's very tall also she looks tall but like i i wonder is this like is this supposed to be like advice for people is this like advice Here's what I eat in day. You should try it. Let me know how it goes. Or is this just like here's here's what I eat in a day because I'm a model. Just be entertained and don't do it, maybe or something. I, I don't really know. I guess I just find it strange that like girls will watch this and be like, she has like half a kiwi and half a banana with some like fake yogurt and puff corn puff rice whatever i should do that too and then i'll look like her or something i don't know um yeah i don't know I'm, I'm, you know whatever it doesn't look so bad it's like girl food for the rest of two weeks For the granola, you can be very creative and you can use different kind of puffed grains. I'm using two cups of puffed rice and two cups of puffed mille. Then I'm adding one third of shredded almonds. I use pecan nuts as well, but I didn't have them this time. Then I use two teaspoons of turmeric. I really like the taste, so sometimes I add a bit more. I add a pinch of salt. I add half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm using a bit too much here. Then I melt three big tablespoons of ghee to get this kind of nice buttery flavor. And I add this on top of the grains. To make the granola sweeter, I use one third cup of honey and I mix everything together. It makes it also easier if you do this in a bowl, but this way you have a little less dishes. Then it goes in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let the granola cool down and add this into a glass jar and it is finished. I would, I would eat that in like one sitting. I, I don't know, is that is that like, that's not one meal, is it? That's like a week's worth of food or something? Um, I don't know, ladies, look. And again, like I said, she's a fashion model. She's like a runway model, right? So if you have chosen to become a runway model as your career choice, or you are trying to break into that industry and you're trying to achieve that look, okay. And you're over six feet tall and super hot. All right, go ahead, eat like that. But if you're anybody else, why? 
like I've said this before, but it's a, it's a, it's a quote on 4chan that I've heard oft repeated. It says, why, why would you look like a stick when you could look like a horse? You know, that's just what I think to my mind, in my mind, you know, again, like I said, she's a model. That's her kind of natural body type, I guess, maybe a little bit skinnier than normal because she's has to achieve a look. Otherwise she won't get any work. But why would anybody voluntarily do that? Is this like, is this like for women? Like here are some meal ideas for days when you're not binging on shit. Is that what this is? Is is that the, like the idea here? I mean, this is not bad, I, I guess it's not, there's not really much in it, but that's kind of the point. It's like to, to eat, to, to pretend like you're eating kind of. <laughs> and add this into a glass jar and it is finished. So um, it is 1 p.m. right now and I'm going to prepare a little lunch. So today I'm at home all day and I'm working a little bit. So I don't do that much like physical activity in the morning. So I didn't really need a snack in between. I'm going to make like a rye bread and uh, I'm gonna cook an egg for some extra protein. I start to boil an egg for about five minutes. So it will be a soft boiled egg. And then I start with two pieces of rye bread and I put on one original chickpea hummus from Whole Foods. And the other, I smash some organic avocado on this. I actually eat avocado almost every day because it contains so many good and healthy fats. I add some pepper and salt to the avocado and put some sliced cucumber on the hummus. I sprinkle a little bit of cold cheese on top of my avocado spread to give it a final touch. And I had some leftover zucchini from the night before, so I used that as a side for my lunch today. I don't like to throw out food. So here I have my lunch ready. I always feel like with little leftovers in the fridge, I can always build something. So this is kind of a lunch I take if I don't have that much time um, to make a bowl or to prepare like a whole salad. And I'm Dutch, so rye bread um, has been one of my favorites uh, for a long time as well. And normally with my meal, I just have water or if I'm really, uh, really cold, I have a tea, but something very simple. Oh my God, what a hottie. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is good food. I mean, avocado, rye bread. Oh my God, rye bread is like the best type of bread you can eat. It's like actually the best type of bread. Um, and rye bread is not like, this is actual rye bread. So it's like very thin and it's very dense. If you guys have never had it, like you won't be able to tell, but it's, it's very thin and very dense. Um, cause it's actually made out of rye. Like the rye bread that you probably have seen at the store is, is rye mixed with wheat. So it's really wheat bread with like a little bit of rye flour in there, but this is like actual rye bread, like good, healthy bread, bread that you can eat without feeling guilty is the point. Um, Avocado, good. Feta cheese or goat cheese, good. Zucchini, good. Egg, good. This is all good. And I like I can't really like I can't like pick on her and be like, oh, that's you know just not enough food for a human, because she's a model and she has to stay thin. So like if you're going to stay thin, at least this is what you're eating. This is like, you know, at least she's getting like she's eating an egg. Oh my god, she boiled an egg. Fuck, like <laughs> she cooked something. <laughs> Um, avocado also, <coughs> also good, very filling as well, because the fat, hummus, good also. Yeah, so far so good. Water, or if I'm really, uh, really cold, I have a tea, but something very simple. An easy and healthy snack for me is a smoothie, and this is my favorite green smoothie recipe. The base is baby kale. I add frozen spinach, some frozen mango, half of the leftover banana some Nutiva hemp vegan vanilla protein powder. And this one is very clean and it's not sweetened, which I really like. I'm adding the maca powder, which has an earthy flavor. And then I use Elmhorst almond milk. And this is my favorite because it only contains two ingredients, water and almonds. So this is my to go green smoothie recipe. Um, I really like to have a smoothie like as a snack if I feel I'm starting to get hungry or uh, I'm gonna do a quick Pilates session. So you know, it gives me some energy. And I've also put some maca powder in there. I've been using that lately a lot because it is one of the strongest uh, superfoods out there. And it kind of has this like earthy flavor, but I feel it really blends well with the smoothies. It contains a lot of like minerals and antioxidants and um, it's full of fiber. Also, I read it was really good for your libido. I don't know, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is my little snack today. All right, so I guess if you're going to eat like a bird, these are probably pretty good food choices. I mean, the kale and the spinach, I don't know. I mean, the jury, like I've read those are really healthy, but like, I don't know, I've never really felt like any different after eating them. Um, the maca is good. Um, it is supposed to boost your libido and it's got a lot of other health benefits as well. And like the almond milk, that's actually only almonds and milk, amazing. And then I forget what else she added. Oh, protein powder, hemp protein powder. So like, she's not a vegan because she ate egg, um, maybe vegetarian. But like, why why am I not, 
why am I why am I going so easy on her, right? Because I, I compared to like some of the other health coaches or fucking influencers that I'll that I'll talk about, like I'm being very easy on this girl. And the reason is because she is she has to maintain a certain type of body for her work. If she does not maintain this body type, she will not get any more work. She will lose her job. Right? So like you you could make the argument that she has to eat like this as a necessity for her work, right? And she's gonna go do Pilates, amazing. Like, fuck, like, w w more women need to do Pilates. Um, and and why, like, what does it matter if she's doing this for work? Because if, if she's doing it for work, she has enough leverage on herself that she will be able to maintain it long-term, okay? And you can make the argument it's not healthy, blah, blah, blah. These are all healthy food choices. Maybe it's a little bit less than I think somebody should be eating, but like, you know, whatever, it's it's for work, like what can you do? And and why am I making this distinction? Because if you, random like female of America, are watching this and you're like, oh, well this model ate this, I should eat that too. And you don't have the additional leverage on you to like maintain this type of diet, you're not going to continue this type of diet. Why, just like for your own satisfaction of looking skinny? Like it's, you know, you're not getting paid millions of dollars to like walk down a runway with fucking designer clothes. That's a That's very strong leverage to continue. Um, so yeah, you're gonna, you're, you know, probably not gonna be able to stick to it, is my point. But, but she will, because she has that additional leverage. Um, yeah, this is my little snack today. So I'm going to start with cutting up all the vegetables, and this is a portion for two people. I cut half an onion, two garlic loaves, and this is actually a little trick to splash it first sideways with the knife, and then cutting. I use about one inch of fresh ginger. I washed the mushrooms and cut them in long pieces, and the zucchini noodles I bought already pre-prepped. Last but not least, I'm going to cut a lime. Now everything's prepped, I'm going to make the sauce. I add the garlic, fresh ginger, tiny splash of rice vinegar, a tiny splash of coconut aminos, which is the same as soy sauce. I'm adding quarter cup of coconut milk and two big tablespoons of almond butter. To finish up the sauce, I squeeze half a lime and add some cayenne pepper to give it some spice. I blend everything together in my little ninja bullet. I find this much easier than a food processor because it's small and it's easy to clean. I heat up a big pan and heat the olive oil. When it's hot, I add the onions and cook them until they're soft and brown. Then I'm adding the chicken thighs to this, and if you're vegetarian, you can also use tofu. While that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the mushrooms. I heat up some coconut oil, add the mushrooms, and add salt and pepper, and some oregano for the extra flavor. I let this bake for eight minutes on a low heat, so they get very soft. The chicken is almost done, so I'm adding the zucchini noodles and let them cook until they're soft. Then I'm adding the almond butter coconut sauce and let this cook for about 5 minutes. I have the pad thai brown rice noodles and add hot water to this. I let this cook for 5 minutes and these rice noodles are so absolutely easy and fast to make. They're one of my favorites. Then I put the water through the strain and they're ready to serve. Get a plate and add the noodles as a base. I add the chicken and zucchini noodles. I add the mushrooms on the side. And to garnish, I'm adding cilantro, a lime and for extra freshness, a few slices of cucumber. Um, did I just watch a super hot girl actually cook some reasonably healthy food? Oh my god. Wow. Is she like the perfect woman or something? Uh, wow, she cooks. And she's not a fucking vegan. Oh my god, she ate chicken. I'm like stunned. Um, great. Amazing. I, I take I take back what I said. Like girls, eat just copy this girl. Just copy her. Okay, eat like this. I mean, you know, not my first choice, but like, the, honestly, the bar is set so low. <laughs> it's so sad. Why am I even saying this? The bar is set so low for like, uh, for like modern women. Like, we don't expect you to cook. Okay, we don't. Like maybe maybe you can cook. Right? There's a difference between do you cook or can you cook. Right? Anybody can cook. Anybody can look up a recipe online and fucking cook it, right? Or cook, like, I'm going to cook you dinner. Like, they want to cook for a fucking special occasion and make you something, fine. But, like, do you cook? Like, do you cook on your own, not for YouTube videos? I, I think she does. It seems like she does. Just the basic level of familiarity that she has with this recipe. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, yeah, and also, like, I mean, she's super hot. She's a model. Fine. Like, top, like you know, 0.001% of humanity. Um, she cooked, but she ate, she ate chicken. Again, like I said, the bar's so low, especially for me. Like, oh my God, you ate chicken and an egg <laughs> and you cooked something? <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> uh, that was my first thought. I was just like, I, I wanted to let it run. It was like, I was waiting for her to like drop the bomb, be like, 
it's it's fake vegan chicken or like i don't know something whatever anyway um that was my first thought was just like me kind of being in awe at that and then my second thought was like how how famous do you have to be to like date a girl like this you know like how famous do you actually have to be because you i mean either like you gotta be you gotta be famous rich or just like in the right place at the right time or like super good looking or something but i feel like even if you're super good looking you still have to like uh, wh where do you even find these girls like where do you find wh where are they you have to like go to a fashion show or some like party for like super elite human beings um how do i how do i break into that anybody anybody know how i do that let me know leave me a comment please uh but yeah like how do you how do you find these girls where are they probably not a lot of them anyway Ta-da! And dinner is ready. Um, I feel this is the perfect dinner, especially after the workout, because I have some carbs, uh, whole grains, these are brown rice. Um, I have the veggies, the noodles, uh, I have chicken for some protein, mushrooms, and to make it a little bit more fresh. And of course, because it's an Asian dish, I'm gonna eat it with chopsticks. So guys, we are at the end of my what I eat in a day video and the last thing I have, I almost have this every evening, is two pieces of uh, dark chocolate and this is actually my second favorite chocolate. The first one is Food Kitchen and this is Lindt and this is 85% and I really feel if I have like a little piece every day, I'm not really craving that like sugar rush but I do have like something sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this what I eat in a day. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions or um, if you want to have any recommendations and also give this video a big thumbs up and then I will see you guys in my next video. My god. Whatever, anyway, um, yeah, as far as like a dessert that will um, satisfy your sweet tooth quickly without a lot of calories, dark chocolate is the way to go for sure. Like a lot of the time when, you know, self-included, when we like binge or we eat a lot of unhealthy food, it's because in our mind we we overestimate our appetite and, and what how much we actually want, right? Because like when you're hungry, when you want a snack, when you want like shitty food, you're like, oh, I want to get a whole box of cookies and just sit and eat all of them, right? But what I think you really want, because if you'll notice at, when you eat something, the most amount of satisfaction you will have when you eat something is that first bite. And then it just kind of like goes down from there, right? Like the second bite is less, third, fourth, fifth, it all just kind of goes down, you know? Um, so if, if you satisfy that first bite of something sweet with dark chocolate, you know, you're, you're like she said, you're, you're satisfied and you don't really like need to eat anything else. I've noticed this also because I used to buy dark chocolate for dessert. I've done it. I do it like periodically. I should start doing it more because um, it's just it's really good. You know, is it healthy? I don't know. Probably not. Right. But like. No, there's cocoa in it, fine. Maybe, I, I don't know if it's healthy, but like healthy dessert because it's low in calories and can't really binge on it. Let's say you eat an entire dark chocolate bar. That's still better than like, you know, a bunch of like shitty processed food. Um, yeah, not, not bad. Uh, not bad at all for a meal, for a day. I mean, I wouldn't want to do all that cooking and like, it's a lot of work, seems like. But as far as like food choices go like very good i talked a little shit in the beginning about the like granola or whatever but like whatever man she she like she ticks all the boxes she ate some meat okay not a lot she ate some she has to be thin fine she ate some meat well she didn't eat once a day but like she ate she ate meat all right and an egg <laughs> uh she ate pretty much only clean food and she worked out like incredible amazing son of lot um yeah love it wonderful okay anybody if you have other recommendations for videos or youtubers let me know leave me a comment peace